on television, Channel 5, I believe, last night. And now she's here with us. Hello, Kinsey Schofield. Hi. Technically, while I was on Channel 5, I was whale watching today and I saw, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not kidding. I think I saw 20 whales. It was the greatest whale watching excursion of my life. Where? Uh, down the street from my house. Where, I'm not going to say exactly where I live, but I go whale watching about every two weeks and I might see like a blow far in the distance, but they were like, don't, don't even start with me, Christo. What? It's what? a little what? too early for that. What? I think there's nothing, there's, 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 there's nothing more fulfilling than a blow first thing. But they, these whales, we saw fin whales, so many of them, they were so close to the boat and I was just in heaven. I love whale watching. Um, I like whales. I like dolphins as well. Do you know any dolphins where you are? Uh, a th like thousands. Oh my God. I'm wearing my dolphin necklace. You don't know this. You've gotten me off on my, you've gotten me off on my hobbies now. I'm well, going crazy. If you actually, you know, ever invited me to LA, I would come, I would come and watch the dolphins with you any day. Oh my gosh, you have to. They have, their the babies are out right now. I'll send you a video. The babies are out. Oh, that would be, I love dolphins. I think they're just beautiful. Dolphins, elephants, and dogs are my favorite animals. I love those things too. Oh, oh, you see, we're a match made in heaven. This is why we get on so well. <laughs> well, from let's go from whales to whales. Ah, very good. Very, very good. Because of course, um, well, where, where do you want to start? You want to, you, you go first, go on, you go. Well, I'll just quickly ask you because everybody's heard um, everybody's heard about it this week. I'd love to know your reaction to seeing Prince William for the first time. Him talk, him thanking the woman that handed him the Get Well Soon cards for uh, King Charles and the Princess of Wales. He had this very uh, authentic reaction to receiving those cards when he was out in Surrey. Um, and uh, what was your response? Did you did you see some of that video and what did you think? Yeah, I liked that where he said that he was looking after them or words to that effect, mm -hmm. which I thought were really nice. But I saw as well some of the naysayers online uh, criticising because he was uh, working in this food bank centre, the food distribution centre, and he was pictured and, and there was video of him unloading um, some of the food bank items. We're just showing some of that on our screen now and, and, and people are saying well as if he works there why on earth was he showing that what a load of nonsense but the whole point is of course he's not going to work there all day or work there for a week it's getting a photo call so that therefore it can raise publicity raise the profile of the cause and hopefully get people to either volunteer or donate so it, uh, I think I think some of the criticism is a bit stupid if you ask me I, I totally agree um so let me I'm trying to figure I'm trying to remember what the name of that is, because if we're going to make the point that he it, it was a surplus food risk, uh, redistribution charity. I do want to make sure that if we're going to bring it up, we should probably give it the give it the proper credit. But, yeah, this is what they all do. They show up and they show us what the process it was, is. It was surplus to supper in Sunbury surplus. on Thames. That that's where. Yeah. He was, and that was where he received some of the cards. And like I say, he was pictured and videoed unloading um, some of the, the vans. That is royal duty. That is what you do. You don't actually go and work there for weeks on end. You highlight the work and you, you, you give a morale boost to the people there and you meet people and hopefully then you raise the profile of the charity. So I don't know why what people were criticising him. Video? What was the video of Prince Harry? Was he racing Usain Bolt? Do you guys think that that's what he does on a typical Tuesday? That was not what he does on a typical Tuesday. That was a photo call. That was the objective was to get attention for a very specific, uh, you know, project. You, that's what they do. Do you know nowadays? I swear to goodness, I swear, if Princess Diana, God rest her soul, was pictured shaking the hands of an AIDS patient as she was, they would say online, well, why isn't she curing AIDS? Why isn't she working in the laboratory? Why is she just turned up to, to shake people's hands? That's what social media would say about her if it was in the year 2024, I swear. Well, and I did learn something interesting from this engagement um, that I'd never even thought about before. Uh, allegedly, 
one of the biggest places that food is wasted is not at our grocery store, is not at, you know, whatever buffet is in town, but it's at the airports. And when Prince William learned that, he said, oh, I know somebody at so-and-so airport I'm going to connect you to. Um, so, how, I mean, I think that that's also something interesting that he does. He has those contacts. He has no political sway but people love him, they want to know him, and he can connect to people that, you know, now instead of getting tossed into the dumpster, the airport might find a, a partner and that food might be donated somewhere. So something good can come out of this meeting. Yeah, that is good stuff. And of course, you're right, they don't have political power, but what they have and what the late queen had in absolute spades was the power of soft diplomacy. That's the power that they have politically, i.e., you know, we'll, we'll lay on a glam bash, we'll lay on a proper state dinner, we'll, you know, the Queen will, will have stuck on a sparkly dress and a purple uh, uh, sash and uh, uh, wowed all of these presidents and that sort of oils the wheels a little bit for the actual political diplomacy. And again, a lot of people just don't see that. They don't, they don't understand that that is what we have in our royal family and just want to sort of run it down when they're actually one of the best assets, the best weapons that we have. You don't have them in the States, do you? I have Joe Biden. I have oh. Joe Biden. He just, who recently announced that his uncle was eaten by human beings, which I don't, Army Hammer denies the allegations. I don't think it's true. <laughs> Joe Biden claimed that his, his family were eaten by human beings. Yes. Does Joe Biden know where he is most of the time? Is it Joe Biden? I've seen online people who don't think it's Joe Biden. They think that there are multiple Joe Bidens on Twitter. Oh, well, those, I believe after everything I've witnessed in the last, you know, three, four months, I, I'm not surprised to hear that. You know, it, that is also the latest conspiracy theory, isn't it? That there are multiple Princess Catherines, there are multiple Melania Trumps, there are multiple Joe Bidens. When did that there's become multiple, a thing? Um, it, yeah, there's multiple uh, Vladimir Putins. Yes. And they're always like, is this the real Vladimir Putin? They're, they're, they're just, uh, but sort of dictators, you, you could kind of, you know, because I think Saddam Hussein um, had a few body doubles because their life was in such danger all the time and there were always assassination attempts. But why would you have multiple Melanias? Well, I mean, her fashion is pretty fierce. Uh, I would, you know, I take notes. So I guess I guess I could understand that. It one is. on a catwalk, one on the runway. Do you know, I would, I'm going to get a body double to turn up for me here. Who would, who would want to be my body double? That's the problem. <laughs> I don't know whether anyone would want to be. Who's going to replace the cuddly bear? Isn't that what that guy, that caller just called you? Who, who could replace the cuddle bear? They did call me the cuddly bear. The caller earlier, Stephen in Manchester, did refer to me as the big cuddly bear. And I am, I'm here, I'm here for it. I'm absolutely <laughs> living for it. Absolutely uh, loving it. Now, hey, um, yesterday I was talking, and this is such great news. Um, I'm very excited by this jam. The jam? You know the jam? Do you know the jam? I, I actually don't give a jam about this story, but I'm happy to participate because oh, it's you. Can't, can't we just talk a bit about the jam? Because this is momentous, right? Because we have slagged them off to high heaven for doing absolutely no work for as many years as we can remember. And literally, you know, turning up to half a recording of, of Spotify or sitting on a sofa bitching about their family. And that's been the whole work that they've done. But however... Montecito, American, whatever it's called, do nothing Riviera Orchard place, have come up, this is Meghan Markle, with 50 jars of jam. That's hard work. That is hard work. That's strawberries, that's sugar, that's cleaning the jars, that's putting the lids on them, that's printing the labels, sticking them to the jars. That is hard work, Kinsey, isn't it? Look, the label is peeling off right there. <laughs> um, you know, Tra Tracy Ross, Diana Ross's daughter, who's also an actor, she posted hers and there were dead flowers in her basket. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't think that this is the aesthetic Megan's going for. Also, also, P.S. Yeah. P.S., if you are looking to still buy your own American Riviera Orchard dot whatever because Megan did not secure hers, there are plenty available. I have purchased American Riviera American Riviera Orchard dot today. That is my personal URL. You can head over to American Riviera Orchard dot today 
uh, it forwards you to a t-shirt that I made for Catherine that did, that, is, that don is donated to cancer research. So if you are in the market for an American Riviera Orchard URL, there are plenty still available. I absolutely love this. And of course, um, what this has led to is, which I love this story, apparently um, uh, this has led to King Charles and the Dutchie Originals jam having a massive spike in sales. So people are saying, oh, my God, jam. Well, let's not buy it from Meghan Markle. Let's buy it from King Charles instead. So this has been wonderful for King Charles. Yeah, let's go to the OG. Let's and you know where is where is her product coming from? Where there is little to no information about it. Much more information is known about King Charles, um, where the money goes for King Charles's jam. Uh, but again, like we should stress, she made fifty of these jars and she has delivered them to her influencer friends, the one percent in Santa Barbara, California. We've seen four or five people that have actually posted it. You know, Ellen DeGeneres hasn't posted it. Did she get some Oprah Winfrey? I I bet she did, but she hasn't posted about it. But well, she's had so, so much well, Ozempic lately. She's not going to want that jam, Oprah. She's going to put that's going to stay locked in the cupboard. You know, while while she's no still Ozempicking. Yeah, no carbs. No carbs. So, no jam. But remember that quote from her: "I love bread." That's probably no longer yeah. the case for right for her right now. I mean, her well, body is desperate for a piece of bread, but unfortunately, <laughs> she just she just can't have it. Look, I'm being I'm being nice here because I am going to say that these jars of jam are the most work that have been done in that Montecito mansion for the last four or five years, and I think that that's that should be praised, don't you, Kinsey? If if she made them herself, then yes, I will. I'll give her that praise. I will say yes. <laughs> yes. If yes, she did them herself. We're, we're very, very happy. She made the phone call to get the, the jam delivered. That's hard work as well, Kinsey. So, you know, what. however that jam came to be, well done to Megan.